All right, let's talk about how to change colors in Inkscape. So let's start by creating a rectangle. So we've got a rectangle now. Mine is currently filled in. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Some rounded corners. Now, one way that you can deal with this is this color at the bottom. If you left click, it changes the color of the fill. And if you right click, you can tell it to set the stroke to that color. Uh, or you can hold uh, shift and click and that'll change the color of the stroke. So I've been mentioned fill and stroke. Those are the two different kinds of colors that you can change. The fill is the stuff on the inside, and the stroke is just the border, and some softwares even call it border. But the other way to change colors, if you really want more control, is under this Object tab. Click on Fill and Stroke, and I'll open a menu over here where you can start to change a lot more. Uh, there are a couple of different ways that you can change colors. Uh, you can change them in red, green, blue, HSL, and a couple of other different options. I usually stick with red, green, blue, uh, but feel free to play around with these. And you can just change where the slider is, or you can increment or decrement whichever thing you'd like. One thing I usually recommend if you're designing something that needs to fit with other things, you may want to lower the opacity so that you can see through whatever you're working with. It tends to make it a little bit easier to figure out what's going on in your design. So if it doesn't have a fill, I, uh, you would click on this flat color, so I can click on this no paint option to get rid of the fill. And you'll notice now it's not filled in, and now it is. There are some other options for gradients, and you can mess around with those. Uh, those aren't terribly important when you're doing something like laser engraving. Then stroke has kind of the same options, and remember stroke is just like the border. So we can turn the stroke off, now you can see there's no border, or we can turn the stroke on. And one thing I want you to notice, I'm going to zoom in a lot, this dashed line actually indicates the bounding box. And if I tell the stroke to go away, you'll notice that the fill goes to that bounding box, not to the edge of the stroke. It's probably not going to be terribly important for most things, but I wanted you to take note of it. If I want to increase the size of this stroke, I can go to the stroke style, and I can increase the width. And I can do that by incrementing or decrementing, or I can type in a specific width in whatever units I prefer. Uh, you have some options for changing uh, what kind of line this is. This could be useful at some point, but most people don't use it for anything. Okay, that's it. If you have other questions that you'd like to see addressed in a future video, please comment below, uh, and I'll see you guys next time.